Testing, 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 testing. Hello, and welcome to Battle Report number 8 for the channel. Today we have a game of Kings of War. We are playing Dwarves versus Elves, a 2,000 point game. The scenario is Dominate. The Dwarf list is as follows. A Regiment of Ironclad, a Regiment of Iron Guard, a horde of earth elementals, a horde of iron watch rifles, two troops of rangers, two organ guns, one greater earth elemental, one steel behemoth, an army standard bear with a healing charm, a stone priest uh, that has the something something of the fire heart that's essentially one turn you can do two shooting attacks or cast two spells uh, that's never used, and a warsmith with the talisman of inspiration. The Elf Army is as follows, a regiment of forest shamblers, two regiments of hunters of the wild, a horde of forest shamblers, three kindred glade stalker troops, a elfin mage with the Banechant Windblast upgrade, also inspiring, a forest warden, two tree herders, one with the medallion of life for regeneration, and one with blade the beast slayer to be the uh, uh, can opener, I guess you could say. We go to deployment. The elf side, the elf right flank. We start with the forest warden, is the stumpy little tree. Uh, behind him is the Durthu model, uh, is representing the f tree herder with the sword of beast slang. Uh, in front of him we have forest uh, uh, hunters of the wild, uh, horde of forest shamblers, archers, and then the middle, the elves have the mage behind the archers, more archers, uh, more hunters of the wild, the regenerating tree herder, and forest shamblers. The dwarfs side of deployment, we have rangers on the far right of the dwarfs. Uh, next to that we have the steam tank and a standard bearer following the steam tank with a healing charm. Uh, one thing to note, we do have a tree in the middle here. We always refer to it as the bee tree. My wife made this. And we uh, generally use it as a uh, special piece of terrain. So any, any unit within six or three inches of it on your opponent's shooting phase gets dice six attacks essentially against it. It, it comes up a couple times. It's not a big deal. It's just something fun to play since she made it. Anyway, uh, the, next, the next is the... Uh, Ironclad, two organ guns, Warsmith behind. Oops. There you go. In the middle there, we have uh, the rifles in the trees. We have the iron guard with the great weapons. And in the trees, we have the earth elementals and greater earth elemental. And behind the greater, greater earth elemental is the uh, stone priest. So, turn one. Turn one goes to the dwarfs. Uh, oh, sorry. No, this is still Vanguard's. Uh, Rangers move up. Rangers moved up. Um, whole side here moves up a bit for her, since the only thing the elves have that doesn't have Vanguard is the mage. Um, so, go into overall look of the board after Vanguard. Oh, and the, the books are hills. Uh, my wife is currently making us a couple hills. We just don't have them yet. So, um, and I think that's also most of the dwarf movement. Yeah, we go right into shooting. Um, some shooting here on these hunters of the wild. Shooting here at the other hunters of the wild. And that's it for dwarfs turn one. Uh, elves turn one. Um, uh, some movement and a surge here what I'm trying to show. Um, Bane Chant was cast on the center archers. Uh, and then we go right into shooting. Not a lot of movement. Uh, we're kind of playing uh, uh, standoffish here because we are playing um, a scenario where, where you have to get your units within 12 inches of the center of the board to have any scoring value entirely within 12 inches of the center of the board. It's called dominate. Um, we take it somewhat literally here where we, we put this token in the middle of the board 
and you have to have all your units within 12 inches of the middle of the board, so there's no reason to rush it if you can shoot a lot. So anyway, um, the elves shoot up and kill my rangers here. The bees attack my tank and do a damage. And that's it. Um, not a lot going on. The end of turn one. Go into turn two. Dwarves start to move a lot more. Uh, tank, flagger, everybody moves up here you can see. Uh, my shooting and everybody moves up including the organ guns. Uh, they're not going to do anything sitting back there and they're not in scoring so we might as well start moving everybody forward. And on the left flank of the dwarves we charge all we can. So the Greater Earth Elemental and the other Earth Elementals charge the Hunters of the Wild. No dwarf shooting phase, we get a heal off on the tank. We put a wound on the shamblers. We get a bane chant off on the greater earth elementals um, for fun. Uh, we do nine damage to the hunters of the wild. We cause a waiver. That's pretty good. And that's what it looks like the end of dwarf turn two. Elf turn two, the forest shamblers charge the earth elementals. The hunters of the wild were wavered, so they're hanging out. Uh, the tree herder moves around, and the tree warden moves way around. The elf archer unit on the right moves up, and the left flank for the elves uh, trucks forward about as fast as they can. Get a big surge off here, um, that unit, so they slide up. The bees smack my iron clad around a little bit. Bane chant on the center archers. In the elf's shooting phase, uh, seven damage is done to the organ gun, but the roll was pretty poor, so it was just a waiver. Uh, at the end of combat, four damage was done by the shamblers to the earth elementals. Turn three, I, I failed to take a picture of a dice. And what's funny is I could have just taken a picture of the dice afterwards. It's like, what? Who wouldn't know? Whatever, whatever. Okay. So uh, we start out, we get some quality dwarf headstrong going on. So that's good. The organ gun is on waiver. We get some charges in. Um, the greater earth elemental charges the hunters of the wild. And I believe the earth elementals also charge the hunters of the wild they either charge hunters of the wild or the forest shamblers we'll find out here in a second and the iron guard charge the forest shamblers so lots of charges on dwarves left dwarves right the iron clad charge into the forest shambler regiment the right oops sorry the rangers and the tank just move on up to get into position. Do a little healing from the damage from the bees. Uh, bane chant these earth elementals. You'll see a, a pretty constant bane chant theme here. Uh, organ guns open up on the uh, hunters of the wild. And we route them pretty easy. Uh, tank shoots at the tree and does a couple damage. Uh, Iron clad do a whopping two damage to the four shamblers, so they back off. Um, eight damage total. Must have been must have been both the elementals and the other ones because they're they're charging over that. Yeah, over that four, so or over that wall here so everyone's kind of getting pretty crappy charges unless they're doing a counter charge so look, yeah they, they do about eight damage to the four shamblers nothing special um some extra damage is done probably by the greater earth elemental onto the hunters of the wild and i rolled pretty poorly so they're fine uh overview of dwarfs end of dwarfs turn three not a lot on the right but a whole cluster on the left Elves turn three, the tree 
herder charges the tank. The four shamblers charge into the iron watch. This one's a little confusing, but um, the tree warden charges into the flank of the greater earth elemental. The tree herder charges into the front of the greater earth elemental. The tree hunters of the wild charge the earth elementals and the tree forest shamblers. Man, these, these names are really hard to say. Charge the iron guard. Bane chant. Shooting. Um, crap. Sorry, I gotta stop laying on my keyboard here. Uh, shooting. The elves easily take off one of the organ guns. Tree Herder does six damage to the tank, which is actually pretty good for seven attacks. Um, the Shamblers do a little bit of damage to the ironclad, no big deal. These Shamblers uh, fail horribly and do two damage to those guys. They are fine. And the combined Tree Herder, Tree Warden um, get a lot of damage, knock this guy up to 11, but pretty poor roll and he's okay. Overview after Elves turn 3. Go on to turn 4. A uh, little bit of... Oh, okay. The tank charges, tree man, ironclad charge, four shamblers, uh, some healing action by the uh, standard pair. Bane chant, of course. Uh, shooting, a little bit of damage on this one archer unit. Uh, the other unit gets pretty well decimated um, and routed from, I think the Iron Watch rifles happen to have been in range. They, they had been moved up so that they could shoot at one of the Oregon guns and then in the process took Iron Watch rifles to the face, so they're gone. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. So tank charges in. Um, yes, the... Okay, so the... Uh, Earth Elementals charge the Hunters of the Wild. Iron Guard charge the... Um... No, it looks like... They did 20 damage. I'm guessing the Earth Elementals and the Iron Guard charge the Shamblers again. And the Greater Earth Elemental charge the Hunters of the Wild. But yeah. So they those two combined route the Shamblers. The Greater Earth Elemental does just enough to get the Hunters of the Wild out of the picture. And that's an overview after four, uh, five, the tree herder and the tree warden go back into the greater earth elemental, which is fine. Tree herder goes back into the tank, four shamblers go back into the iron watch. The archers in the center move back, um, realizing that they're not going to probably do a lot shooting at my shooting, but that uh, iron well, iron guard unit there is within shooting range. So shooting, as is just said, uh, a hefty damage for shooting at my iron guard. Um, tree man comes in, whacks my guys around or my tank around a little bit, gets it wavered on a pretty good roll. The shamblers waver my iron watch. And the combined tree warden and tree herder, um, no problem. Oh, route my well, I can say no problem. Well, they they really actually kind of failed pretty badly, but uh, they take out they take out Mr. Giant Earth Elemental, which is sad. Um, the tree warden overruns quite far forward, or overruns forward to prevent um, the elementals from going into the tree herder. Since we're coming out into turn end of turn four, or yeah, end of turn four here, there's only maybe two, two maybe three turns left to get into the center. So that's the idea behind that. Uh, overview of the board. Turn five. Turn five. The Earth Elementals charge the Warden. Tank. Uh, probably some heals I'm trying to show here. Guess. Engineer moves up since no one's within shooting range. 
Bane Chant on my elementals. Heal on my tank. And the Rangers shoot at the Forest Shamblers. Get a couple damage on them and successfully route them, which is pretty good, even on a reroll. The Earth Elementals come in and don't do a lot. Um, they kind of fail, and the Earth and the Tree Warden is fine. Yeah, so at the end of Dwarves turn five. Elves turn six. Tree Herder goes running around. Uh, tree Warden smacks back into the Earth Elementals. Tree Warden over here, um, or Tree Herder, disengages from the tank for all intents and purposes and starts moving towards the center. Uh, which is fine. I mean, you kill that tank, you get no points for it. But if you can get that tree herder into the center, you, you get a lot for it. So, Bane Chant on the archers. Shooting. Uh, wavers my iron guard. Shooting wavers my iron clad. Uh, combat is fairly ineffective. I think like one damage happens. It's... Tree Warden isn't that killy. It's like three attacks. It's okay. Um, I don't know. So, uh, overview of end of turn five. Uh, a lot less units on the board. Go into turn six. My Iron Watch are headstrong, which is sweet. My Iron Guard are also headstrong, which is sweet. I uh, love that racial ability. Um, Earth Elementals charge tree warden um, them doing so does not take them out of scoring so it's no loss to me to do so uh, iron guard says still the ironclad reform and move towards the center the tank charges into the flank of the tree herder and the rangers start trucking over um, towards the center just in case there's another turn we throw a heal at the uh, ironclad. Oh, and 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 the uh, organ gun also moved up too because it wasn't doing anything. Uh, okay, we bane chant the earth elementals as we do, and this time we do a lot more damage, and we route Mister Tree Warden and reform as such. Uh, the tank comes in and does pretty good it's like eight damage or something I mean it was uh, on the dice six I rolled a one so it was 42 attacks but hitting on fives wounding on threes which is good but that tree man has regeneration there the tree herder gotta play the right game uh, has regeneration so every turn you know getting getting a third of its health back a third of its damage off that it's taken is, is, is pretty helpful so we're, we're getting somewhere but no waiver, no route. Elves, turn six. The archers shoot up at the double to get into scoring range. And both the tree herders move in uh, for scoring scoring range. The archers here get a bane chant. And successfully shoot and route my ironclad. Which is pretty good for my opponents, as that is, well, Ironclad are pretty expensive, and to be able to just knock them off helps a lot. Um, overview after turn six, so go to roll a four, five, or six, and a two, so the game ends there. Uh, just a couple overview shots, you can see. Um, kind of a funny ring around the center. Uh, nobody committing to it, but everybody kind of hanging out by it. And again, just a overview shot, just so you can see how everybody ended up. So, um, I tally up the score, as a person with computers do. I write it down on a piece of paper, and it ends up being a tie. The dwarves have 775 points within range, or within 12, wholly within 12 inches of the token, and the elves have 705 points. So, all, all she had to do was walk walk three things in and tie so that was it was pretty good so the results yeah because it, it's a tie um it was a super fun game
Um, it was pretty pretty quick. Um, the, the rules, my wife's getting the rules pretty well, so we're getting through these pretty fast. Um, the only things to remember are we forgot about elves being elite for like the first three turns. So um, we might have pushed it in her favor a little more, uh, getting a little more out of the first shooting. Um, all of those elves would be elite. Um, I, I still uh, really like the tank on the dwarf side. Um, it isn't it isn't a utility tool for everything. It it, it wouldn't crack open a tree man very well. Um, I can tell you that, but it's still a really cool piece. I like it. I like the defense six. I like I like the whole thing. Um, it was a fun game. Uh, it was never lopsided. There, there was never any point where I was saying, "Oh, we're, this game's over at turn two. Like, so I'm obviously going to win. I don't know. We're just going through the motions to finish it. It was never, it was never like that. Um, and that's that's one of the best things I think I can say about Kings of War. After playing about ten to twelve games at this point, is that it's always generally a, a open game or, or, or anybody's game for the most part like there are some big things that can happen um the double sixes and double ones are rough for uh, waivers and uh checks and I, I don't know that i like those that much but it's in there um but the game is really well balanced and it, and it plays really well so i i think it's i think it's been a great great game for us to play um just like in this one, I'll, this, this scenario was pretty easy just to change it at any point in time. Um, I don't know if another turn would have really... I don't know what another turn would have done. Probably would have benefited the dwarves. I probably could have shot off one of the tree herders. That would have been a big deal. But, hey, it ended where it ended. Oh, and I also forgot to throw my puppy. I forgot my uh, throwing puppy on, on one of my dwarf units. I have, a, I have a special little token for him, and I forgot. But anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. And um, I'll try to get some more games out with some other people. I hope you guys like this game. We uh, pulled some painted armies out just so I could have a battle report with some painted armies after the last one wasn't, wasn't very painted. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.